Jace is never truly done with Yu-Gi-Oh, is he? A Beyond-style duel. Uh, funny things you beyond with you, your trigger games, just to play with people. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you get that this is probably drawing to say. Actually, I've cleared out they could read all this in a long time, but you know, But at this point, it'd just be like the moment I start reading it out, it's going to go disappear. Like that. See, there's always an excuse for me to be lazy, besides the fact that I'm just lazy. I'm surprised you got the duel to skin beyond. I mean, I know you've done it before, but it must have been. Would it be hard? I, I don't know. I see. Someone more worthy in tonight's finals match, but I suppose you have to suffice. You can save it. Let's get one thing clear right out of the gate, Kaiser Bolt. I came here to dethrone you and earn that dual champion title, and tonight I will make that happen. Sorry, Kate. Predictions like that only result in humiliation and shame. I suggest instead of your words, you let your cards and your jewel and skills do all of your talking for you. Fine, I will. Time to see which one of us will be left standing at the very end. It's, it's time, time to duel. Challenger gets the honor of the first move. As you wish. Hope you're ready. First, I'll be summoning Jinzo Jector to the oh field. Boy, Jinzos. Then, I'll activate Psychic Wave. Since I control a machine, this card lets me send the Jinzo from my deck to the graveyard, and then deal you 600 points of damage. Then I'll activate Jector's effect. By sending him to the graveyard, I get to add Jinzo, the machine menace, from my deck straight mm -hmm. to my hand. Finally, I'll end my turn by placing one card face down. Your move. If you dare make it, you have no moss in the field you now. you start off the jewel. I've seen six-year-olds do better. Two. First, I think I'll get rid of your face down using the magic of lightning. Oh strength. shoot! There goes Call the Haunted. Next, I'll discard Thunder Dragon from my hand to activate its effect. Thunder Dragon. You can see why I got the, how got the name Thunderbolts in my deck. But this is only scratching the surface, as now I will be summoning Arm Dragon Thunder Lake Ooh, to the field. Arm Dragons. Then I'll use its effect. Ooh. By trade beating it and discarding one of my cards, I can special summon Arm Dragon Thunder Level 5 from the deck. Furthermore, because the monster I discarded was another Arm Dragon Thunder Level 5, I get to add a Level 5 or higher wind and attributed dragon from my deck to my hand. Mm. Then I'll use the effect of the Arm Dragon Thunder level 5 on the field, tributing itself and discarding one of my added Thunder Dragons to special summon Arm Dragon Thunder level 7 from my deck. Then use his effect, tributing itself and discarding my last Thunder Dragon to special summon from my deck. Arm Dragon Thunder level 10. Yeesh. Your best monster? Already? That's how fast no we... Arm Dragon Thunder level 10 is not your do it. problem. I now banish two of my armed dragons from my graveyard to special summon my Tempest Dragon Ruler of yeah. Storms from my dragon hand to the ruler. field as well. Great. And since your field is wide open due to your poor start on defense, I'll have my Tempest attack your life points directly. Hmm. Then armed dragon Thunder level 10 will proceed with a follow-up attack. Well, kid, are you still up for the challenge? Of course I am. Let's see what Jinzos can do with arm against arm dragons and a dragon if you ruler. Insist, I'm done with my turn, so you can go ahead and take yours. And word of advice, don't play like you did with your first turn. Mm. And word of advice, shut it. Hmm. So, you can see why he wouldn't call a hunt since there would have been a trap based on the field. Who would have let him attack. summon his Jinzo from his hand that he fetched earlier? Then, since there's a trap card in either of our graveyards, I can also special summon Jinzo the machine. Oh, so you can do that if it's in the graveyard too. too. Mm. Next, I'll use the spell card Iron Draw. Since I control exactly two machine effect monsters, I'm allowed to draw two cards. But I only get one more special summon this turn. It's all I need anyway, and with Machine Menace's effect, I can tribute itself and special summon back the Jinzo in my graveyard. Mm. Then I'll activate Cyber Energy Shock. Since Jinzo's on my field, I get to destroy any card on the field. 
Say goodbye to Arm Dragon Thunder level 10. Before that happens, I'll change Thunder level 10's effect. Since he has at least 1000 attack, I can discard one card from my hand during your turn, and destroy your card on the field. Eesh. My dragon's taking your Jinzo with it. Maybe. If I didn't have this. From my hand I activate the quick play spell card, Everlasting Ally. Nice! I can only use it when Jinzo's on my field, but with it, my machine monsters can't be destroyed by your effects this turn. That means well Jinzo played. survives your dragon's effect, and Cyber Energy Shock's effect continues. Even so, there's still an upside to this for me. Because the card I discarded was Arm Dragon Thunder level 3. Mm. And since I did that, I get to draw one card. I ain't worried. Hey, that's where he with the it's little my turn after all. Maybe level 10. Jinzo, oh, no. destroyed his Tempest. Tempest. Retaliate. They destroy each other. Then Psychic Bounder will attack you directly. still Bounder. It should shut you up. I'll not, not really. I'm still winning. This hard face down. Feeling scared, Kaiser? No, not really. I activate Pot of Extravagance. This lets me banish six random cards in my extra it's deck fair, face down. Using any. Then I draw two more cards. Next, I banish two more dragons from my graveyard to resurrect my Tempest back to the field. Mm. And then, I banish Armed Dragon Thunder level 10 from my graveyard, which lets me special summon my Armed Dragon level 10 white from my hand. Doing that lets me add a card from my deck to my hand. And that card is white the Equip bail. Spell. Be careful with that because if and it goes, because if it leaves the equipment, because if it goes to the grave, you're taking three thousand damage. This is the most and random cost for it I've ever heard. You can't. White veil prevents you from activating any spell or trap cards since the equipped monster is attacking. It just feels like they you need to give it some sort of cost. They're just like, okay, uh, three thousand damage. Destroy all of your spell and trap cards. They're going to be heavy storm. I guess they had a. I guess it's reasonable. Tempest, wipe out the rest of his life points. Not a chance. Since I'm being attacked directly, I can discard Swift Scarecrow ah. from my hand, and then end the battle. That would have been me. useful last turn, I'd but buy the tough deck. You wish to continue on my front, but you have no cards. I'm surprised you have one of those moments of, ah, oh, that would have been you really useful a turn ago. If mm. you want to try and beat me, I'll end my turn by setting three cards face down. Those are three back rows. Now let's see if you're up for the challenge. My move then, draw. First, I activate the effect of Psychic Wave in my graveyard. By banishing it, and sending a Jinzo from my deck to the graveyard, I can add Jinzo the Machine Menace from my graveyard to my mm. hand. I thought you might do that, so I came prepared. Activate Quick Play Spell Card. Called by the Grave, by the yep. Grave. This will banish the Jinzo the Machine Menace in your graveyard. Meaning Psychic Wave loses its target. That won't stop me. Since I have exactly three Dark Monsters in my graveyard, I can special summon from my hand. Dark Arms. Oh! Dragon. Now I activate Hi, Dark Arms effect. By banishing Jector from my graveyard, I can destroy Arm Dragon level 10 white. Which since yep. White Vale left the field while face up, I lose 3,000 life points. Well, then this just makes this all the more easier. I'll use Dark Arms effect again. This time, banishing a Jinzo from my graveyard in order to destroy Tempest. Then I'll use it one last time, banishing my last Jinzo from the graveyard, and destroy your left set card. I activate the card you just targeted. Three. Hmm. Dark Arm Dragon's attack points so are cut in half until the turn. end of the turn. Even with its attack points cut in half, I can still do some damage. Dark Arm Dragon, attack him directly. That string is exactly what he needed. Otherwise, he would have lost. Looks like I was up for the challenge after all. I got rid of all your monsters, and now we both have the same amount of life points. And with the effect of shrink wearing off during the end phase, my dragon has. Yeah, but you explaining all this to me means you're going to lose so nine tenths out of ten. Now, Kaiser, I'm going to draw my next card. And if it's not the card I need, then I lose this jewel. And my jewel champion title becomes yours. Plain and simple. You are concerned? Not really. If tonight is the night that I lose, then I can't do anything about it. Even so, I will continue to duel until the very end. Now why don't we see what destiny has in store for us both?
I draw. He's an honorable duelist, at least. Well, now. It would seem as though Lady Luck is favoring me the most. This must be some kind of bluff. It's not. This card I just drew is the card that will end off our little match. But before I use it, I need to set myself up. And the last face down on my field will help me do just that. I reveal my trap card. Rebirth Judgment. Oh. Rebirth what? Rebirth Judgment. It's a new card that I got my hands on early before it's officially released to the general public. Let's just say when you're dual champion, it's a special privilege that you have access to. Yeah. But how is that card going to help you? I'd be happy to tell you. Thanks to my Rebirth Judgment, once per turn I get to declare one type of monster. And then, every single monster in my graveyard becomes the declared type until the end of the turn. So, I think I'll be making all the monsters in my graveyard. Dragon type. Well, monsters in your graveyard weren't the Arm Dragon Thunder now, Thunder it's type, time I believe. I play the card I drew this turn. I activate the spell card. Dragon Fury. Oh, shoot. This lets me banish monsters in my graveyard in order to fusion summon a dragon type monster. And because of Rebirth Judgment, all the monsters in my graveyard are dragon I can't type. believe you have any monsters that are using Tempest twice. Dragon level 10 wife, Tempest and the right, the Thunder, thunder dragons, dragons. I forgot graveyard. about them. I fusion summon. Come forth. Five headed dragon. And it's got Godzilla Roar! No, this can't be happening. It just did. Five-headed dragon, destroy his dark armed dragon, and end this duel. Five-headed flash fusion! And that ends the game. How? How could I have lost? Part of it was due to luck of the draw. The other part was due to underestimating your opponent. Sorry, you kid, underestimated but you've still champion. Got a long way to go. I can't believe I lost. You know what? Screw it. I'm quitting this stupid game. Tuh. He was truly going to go far in this game. Yep. Well, that was a fun little win up thing. I don't know if there will be more of these in the future. I hope there will because I enjoy it regardless. It's pathetic and I enjoy everything that Jace does, so I'm biased. <laughs> anyway, that was fun, and I liked it a lot. I'm going to move a like right now, and yeah. Not much else to say. I liked it. I hope to see more of it. But if there isn't, you know what? It's fine. It was a one-off thing, and we all got to ha see a little bit of Jace's Yu-Gi-Oh! with stuff come back. And you know what the bit of this is? If he just does it the X Stevens way, and it's a bunch of like one-off things like this that don't really have any continuity, that just means he can just leave and come back whenever he wants and doesn't have to worry about, you know, not being able to continue a story or something like that, or feeling like he has to to keep this up, because it was just a one-off thing, you know? His main passion could still be the Beyond series, and, you know, he could just have this thing on the side if he's in the mood for it. And if he isn't, it's fine, you know? Anyway, yeah, I think I've said my point. And if you have more questions, Jace, you know my, you have my DMs.